in the last episode of 60 seconds. Ted was hurt. Well, Ted was already being sick, so now he shot himself and is sick. I would absolutely use a med kit on you if we had one. Maybe Timmy will save your life. And now for the epic conclusion. Yeah, look at him. He's like shaking and bandages everywhere. By the way, that's not your foot. That's your arm, Ted. You shot yourself in the foot. Too bad if we don't fix these wounds up soon, things might get much worse. Uh, Timmy, maybe, Timmy, please. Yes, the military again. Okay, Timmy, you got something for us? No, you don't. Well, sorry, Ted. It might sound paranoid, but we think someone followed us. We used to go to the waterfront before all this happened. It was a great place to enjoy time with our family and watch ships, boats and sailors. We were really excited to find one of our favorite yachts a few blocks away from our house. We found a bit mysterious that it's now moored in the middle of the crossroads, but there are plenty of reasonable explanations for that. We found a few soup cans and a yacht's cargo hold. Yes, we love soup. Soup. Uh, one soup and two water bottles, since the ocean is pretty salty, keeping a supply of drinkable water on board was a pretty reasonable precaution. Okay, food. Um, okay, Timmy's hungry. That's pretty much all there is. Here you go. Here's some food for you. Uh, Dolores is in pretty good shape. I'm not sending her out because she's the last adult. When someone knocked on the door, we were suspicious and cautious, but after a few minutes of talking, it turned out it was just a group of old ladies who were at a tea party not far from here when the bombs dropped. We thought it would only be good manners to talk to them face to face. When we opened the door, those old bats attacked us with their umbrellas, canes, and something that looked like a spade taped to the leg. We need to fight back. Shoot them! Shoot the old people! Shoot them all! Oh, sorry. Hit my microphone stand there. Well, we survived. That's good. And we got an axe! The gunfire was intense, but our position gave us the advantage. We needed to drive those thugs away. One of them even lost an axe while retreating. Yes. Very good. Timmy should eat. And, uh, something to drink, something to drink, something to drink. Okay, here you have some food, Timmy. Good boy. We need to open the blinds for the bird. Let all the sun in. Okay, Sue, Ted is too weak. Dolores is confident. I'm not sending anyone out. Not with those grannies out there. Not with those grannies. I'm just hoping that Ted doesn't die. I mean, there's no chance that we're gonna get a mad kid just like that. Timmy's very hungry. Uh, Ted is hungry. I wonder if I, if I should even continue to feed Ted. What if I send out Dolores? That's my last adult. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Unless, unless I can send Timmy again and he comes back before Ted dies. Nope, never mind. The discussion is moot. Ted is dead. They were too seriously leave untreated. They became infected and took Ted's life. That's sad. We dodged a bullet this time. Except Ted. He didn't. Anyway, Timmy should still eat and they need water. No problem. Water and food. I got plenty of that. Nobody goes outside. Oh, it's here. Oh, there was. Oh, some military. I could have gone out there with someone and I just skipped because I thought it was. Regular expedition. A hunting excursion sounds way too risky. What if those are not you? Oh, hunting animals. Never mind. We we don't want to hunt animals anyway, so that that's good. Dolores would love to eat something. Well, so would I. We can't have it all. Okay, no expedition. What the hell are those sounds? Are those coming from the goddamn walls? They're driving us crazy. Something crawling in the air vents. Relax. Take a deep breath. We should probably come before start tearing them down. Here, let's uh, play checkers. Very good that I have that. I, having a crazy mother now would be really bad. Well, Ted plays as well with his hands there. Um, having some fun made us forget about what was it again. Timmy is good. Well, at least he was five minutes ago. Loris is doing quite well. Hey, look at that. Day 57. We don't need to send anyone out. You would ex expect the post-apocalypse to be a time of peace and quiet since, you know, most of the people aren't around anymore. Ah, the water chip, the fallout reference. Let's give him some water. I don't mind that at all. We might get a useful item in return. Ah, oh, sadly, no med kit. Uh, nope. He would usually, I think, give us a gas mask. Not sure. Anyway, that's fine. How about getting Timmy something to drink? Water is what Dolores wants. Nope. Not today. And of course, they want to use the flashlight again. So I'm kind of hoping for day 70 to bring some solution here. It's been a long episode so far. The signal has to wait besides to even know. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Tomorrow we're gonna drink something. Day 60. 
This is actually a really nice situation to be in. We do have something to defend ourselves. We do have plenty of food. We do have plenty of water, a map, a radio, an axe, and the Boyd Scout book. Uh, yes, just water, right? Water, water. Not even food. Ooh, Timmy seems to be enthusiastic about the trip. Maybe right now I think we're fine. Let him just catch some uh, breath. I don't know. I think if they're together, they're less likely to go turn crazy. Timmy might not look like it, but he's a strong young boy. He's doing just fine. And Dolores is in a good mood. You know what? I'm, I'm not even going to do anything here. I'm not going to go scavenge and just going to check out those events. Hopefully something for the military. Uh, from the military would be ideal. Day 62. I'm a little bit giddy here. I'm a little bit excited and I probably just jinxed myself. We're probably gonna die. Reverse of psychology jinxing. <clears throat> Good. Dolores would like to eat something that can be arranged. Here's some soup. Um, nope, I'm not gonna play cards because I don't have cards. Again, if you want to gamble with someone, you should probably supply the cards as well. It's like when you want someone... If you... I'm trying to come up with a good comparison to that. But I kind of feel if you want to paint a wall, you should bring a brush. Or if you want to paint someone's wall, you should bring your own brushes. Uh, gambling is a terrible habit. What kind of examples that you set to the kids? None at all. Timmy gets some uh, food. Here you go. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's do some role-playing. Role-playing with mommy. Let's pretend you're daddy and I'm still mommy. Ugh, creepy. Okay, so the silent game would be a good idea. Timmy's very hungry. Terrible shape. We need to give him water. Yes, 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 yes. Wait, food? Oh, yeah. Timmy wants food. I don't know why he's so hungry all of a sudden. Didn't anything happen. Someone is very serious about banging on the hatch. We're scared to open it, but it might be good news. We'll be glad to welcome any friendly face. Uh, banging. Nope. No, I'm not opening banging. That's raiders. Last time I opened a, someone banging at the door, it was raiders. I will wait for two knocks. I will wait for two knocks. The banging stopped after a while. Timmy's in terrible shape. Doors will not survive without water. Here you go, guys. Here's your water. Anyone want food? Nope. It's all good. Nobody's being sent outside. Yes, thank you, military. You know what would be great? If you would come to our rescue, even though we don't have a flashlight. It's 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 this is this class divide between people that have flashlights and the people that don't. That is a problem in this country. The signal has to wait. Quite calm, best behavior. Wonderful. Ah, uh, what's the risk? If there one person we truly miss, it's our great uncle Terry. Good, that's gonna improve their mood if they see a friendly family face on a photo and just don't think about the fact that he's probably dead. Because everything has been nuked. Photo we were looking for was stuck between the pages. Timmy's best behavior. Um, well, everyone's good. Nobody even wants food or water. And no event. So we'll skip to day 68 in the hopes that we're going to be successful. Alright, show me. Being stuck in such a tiny shelter would make anyone a bit apathetic. Timmy doesn't need match. Dolores wants water. Well, we can, we can, we can wait for that. Day 70 is going to be when the water comes. I might be able to actually make it something... Day 70? 80? Terrible shape. Would love to drink something. Oh, a trader. Traveling salesman paid us a visit today. He gives us... Ooh. I could trade in my checkers board for two water bottles. I have so much food and water. I don't really need to trade anything. Sorry, my man. Not trading. No deal. Day 70. Yay, 70 days with mother and son. That makes me very optimistic. Timmy should eat. And he needs water. Yes, it's time for water again. You know what? You can have soup and drink. All of it. No expedition. We found some weird mushrooms. No, we're not going to eat the mushrooms. We still have plenty of food. Don't eat the mushrooms. Also, they shouldn't be turned bad within a day. Mushrooms last way longer. We might be hungry, but they're just some things we will never eat. Wall fungus is one of them. You could dry them, saying. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing new to report, and Zolores would love to eat. Didn't I give you something yesterday? 
There's nothing more annoying than silence. No, we're not gonna we're not gonna tinker with the radio. We're gonna wait for signals to come. It's gonna be fine. Yeah. Broken radio is the last thing that I need right now. Uh, everyone is doing fine. There's nothing to complain about. 70 days without a shower. Ugh. Ugh. Worst. I mean, I doubt that they have sh a shower in there. I really doubt it. These foxholes, they were not made for staying inside that long anyway. How about getting Jimmy something to drink? Yes, yes. Day 75, this is when you're gonna get something. Do we get something? Bandits are to door, promising us the worst fate we can imagine if we let them in. It's time to make a stand or surrender. We're gonna use our rifle and we're gonna shoot him in their stupid faces. You know, compared to intelligent faces. Yep, we were able to defend this time. Timmy's in terrible shape. Dolores will not survive without water any longer. Tomorrow. And we're gonna take care of the trash can. I'm pretty sure they're gonna come back regularly now. Wow, 75 days. That's really neat. Dodge the bullet, Timmy's in terrible shape. Yes, it's water time. Water time! Man, I could go on forever. A red. Reds are usually smaller. We can't let that get, thing get to our supplies. It might steal one can of food. I'm gonna use the axe. Hopefully I can slice it in pieces. Uh, nobody's hurt. The axe is still here. Our cans are saved. Timmy's very hungry and Dolores hasn't eaten in a while. I can help you with that. Uh, a gang of thugs started banging on our door, ordering us to surrender. We're gonna use the rifle. I'm not gonna get you, gonna get my son. Or arm our supplies for that matter. You could have my son, not the supplies though. So yeah, we were able to defend. Nothing to complain about. I think day 80 is just so far within, so easily within reach. I kind of wonder where the military stays, or is. I haven't got any knocking. Uh, no time for water. Surviving down here is no walk in the park. And I think I think Ted would agree on that. Especially Ted would agree on that. Day 79. Being stuck in such a tiny shelter would make anyone a bit apathetic. Yes, terrible shape. We need to give him water now. <sighs> Dolores will not survive without wanting water. You will survive another day. <sighs> They're asking us to get out with a flashlight to signal their plane. Why not anything else? Like, why not go out to talk to them? Day 80! 80! Can we just... I, I, this is nearly three months. We're gonna get to three months fairly soon. This is crazy. 80 days? It's over 10 weeks. 11 something weeks. Man. Anyway, Dolores will not survive without water. Yes, here's your water. Here's your precious, precious water. You, you, you behave like it's super important. Yeah, and every day we deal with the trash can. I don't know how we do this. How we fill up a trash can. If we only have a little bit of water and half a can of tomato soup every six days. Timmy seems to be okay. Dolores seems to be okay. I'm surprised they're not going crazy. One of our cupboards in the shelter was a bit shaky, so we pulled it out and gave it a new home. In the process, we discovered a secret door. No idea, but let's find out. Nope, we're not finding out. We're not finding out. I'm not... You didn't see that, but I was shaking my head. I am not checking out the secret door. Yeah, let's not touch that. Timmy's very hungry. Here you have some food, buddy. Uh, a hand of raiders are at our doorstep. They demand we let them in. This is no game. We either yield or we fight back. There's no middle ground here. Shoot him. Shoot him and eat their flesh. Okay, it's a little bit dark. Anyway, another Tai survived. Yeah, we're, we're totally fine here. Um, yeah, not much to do. This is insane, we keep finding spiders everywhere. Let's hunt them with the Boyd's Scout book and we're gonna find another can. Because that is just what happens when you hunt spiders and hunt them with the Boyd's Scout book. You're always gonna find a can of soup. Timmy's in terrible shape, we need to give him water now. Doris has not eaten for a while. Okay, good. Time to ration supplies. Yeah, wait, did anyone want food? No. Dolores wants food. Okay, here you go. Water, we can do that tomorrow. I don't think I have to get anyone out. Though, I think I'm considering... I think I'm gonna send Timmy out now. I think that's a good idea. He might be able to get us a flashlight. Oh wait, day 50, uh, 85? Here, have some food as well. 
And we're going to prepare one for tomorrow. Alarm! Someone's trying to break in and they're not alone. Man! Every day now. It's every single day. I'm really... I don't think I should send Timmy. Uh, okay, let's wait another day. I mean, we were just sieged pretty much. They should be fairly close, so... Waiting a day without incident would be a good idea. Okay, everyone's brave, everyone's doing okay. If we're not getting attacked today... Yeah, another, another broadcast, another flashlight broadcast. Come on. That's just... You're just taunting me, game. It's like, here, you need this item to be rescued. Anyway. Dolores hasn't eaten in a while, and she wants water. Well, Timmy is gonna get both. And we're gonna send Timmy. Oh, uh, yeah, we're feeling pretty good about today's expedition. I hope he comes back. Well, Dolores, now it's just us. Zucker Schnütchen. Yeah. Timmy went to the wasteland. We don't know what we'll do if he doesn't come back. Dolores will not survive without water any longer. I will so have to cut this episode up. This is insanely long. I mean, you probably know this. I, I was just talking to myself. Just talking to myself. All right, Dolores. Uh, do you want something? I forgot. Oh, yeah, she wants water. Tomorrow. And someone is trying to break in. Dolores can defend herself, and she will. Let's just hope that Timmy's okay. Day 90. All right, time for water. We never thought we we never thought we'd live to see a dancing cockroach. We still haven't, but we saw one that was nearly as big as a cat. Let's use the Boy Scout book and smash it. I don't know what the Boy Scout book does here. Let's see. Um, it tell me. We dodged a bullet. Um, okay, it doesn't say what we did. Everything seems to be okay with Dolores, and we missed the life we had. Of course we did. Well, someone's upset back there. What's wrong, Wheatley? What's wrong? Um, what we make of today will be our tomorrow, so let's make it right. Hashtag deep. Lars is calm given the situation. A gang of thugs started banging on our door. Come on. He got too many times. And Timmy made it back. Timmy made it back. And he brought a med kit because he's sick now. Well, it might sound paranoid. Someone followed us. What about those thugs right outside our door? All right. We got ourselves a hospital. One can of tomato soup, one, two bottles of water, one gas mask, one first aid kit. Okay, uh, I, I guess Timmy's hungry? Yes. Timmy should eat something. Here you go, and I'm also gonna give him the med kit. Yeah, we're not sending Dolores out. Every new smell attacks... Oh no, it's in his shell. Today isn't much we can miss. Oh, the brick fell out. Um, nope. We're not gonna check out what that hole in the wall does. It's just gonna be some weird cockroach flying and attacking us and injuring us. Just ignore it. Timmy's very hungry. Timmy was cured. Okay, they're both hungry. That's something I can totally deal with. It's again the lights. It's again the flashlight. I think I need to do an expedition to just get the flashlight. I, it's ridiculous at this point. No other way to signal. Okay, Timmy is hungry and in a terrible shape. We need to give him water now. Yes, 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 yes. Here you go. Let's prepare an expedition. If we're not getting attacked tomorrow... Ah, oh, come on. All hands on deck. There are people on the other side of the door and they don't seem to be friendly. In fact, they promised us a painful death at least 17 times. Well, then let's use the rifle and deal with this. I'm just gonna make 100 days. I'm, I will just make 100 days. Okay, so we send them away. So I do hope. Uh, I can send Dolores. She's the last... She's the last grown-up. I just realized that if I would have sent her, the game would be over. So we're just going to have to feed Timmy until he feels better. Wheatley, you want to come over here and, you know, grab yourself a sunflower seed? That would make him happy, I believe. Come over here. Come here. Good bird. So... Now things are a little bit calmer. Life is hard for us right now. Good mood. And Timmy is very brave. Okay. Nothing to give. Nothing is needed. Yeah, we're not gonna send her outside. We're kind of stuck here. We can just hope that the military is gonna come even without the flashlight. That would be a good idea. Like the good scout is, Timmy's making the best out of the situation. And it was pretty calm for today. Okay. 
We're rapidly approaching 100 days. This is crazy. 98. Over 100 days. That's what I'm gonna call this episode if we make it. Exciting. We can't leave Timmy without water for too long. There has to be some water left, yes. On day 100. We're gonna celebrate day 100 with food. Ah, band of raiders. We're gonna celebrate with food. How much ammunition do we have, by the way? And they can't be so... Why do they really want to come in here? Okay, yes. Terrible shape. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. And the trash can again. The events are getting kind of repetitive, I gotta say. Day 100! Yay! Is that a good or a bad thing? I don't know. I don't know. I might be able to break the record. There's an achievement if you break a certain record. Timmy should eat something and yes, water and food. That is how we celebrate day 100. At this point, you kind of would believe that the military should be back. The last time we went out to expedition, we noticed an abandoned tank just sitting there out in the open. It looks damaged, but might contain useful supplies. Shall someone send to investigate? Yes, we can actually send her on an event expedition because she's going to be back the next day. So she's actually not really out. And we did not get a flashlight. We got a gas mask. That's that's nice. I can only hope for those. Uh, wait, why does he need water again? Huh. Interesting. They said they will not survive without water too much longer. Well, here you have some water. And we're gonna drink again on day 105. <sighs> the military broadcast again. This is the worst. I can't do anything without the flashlight. Maybe a trader comes by and trades in food for a flashlight. I feel that is something that should happen to me. She should get some food. No problem. I do wonder actually what the legit record is of this game. Because it's going on for quite some time and it will keep going on for quite some time more. We didn't expect to get a phone call so soon after the atomic bomb drop, but yet here we are. We can clearly hear a phone ringing. It must be a public phone booth on the other side of the street. Should someone go answer it? Yes, Timmy should go answer it. Timmy, go answer the phone. Let's hope it's not a trap. Well, he's back. He's not dead. What was it? Tell me. We got to the phone booth without any expected surprises and answered the phone. We were so excited to hear a voice. Oh, just a pre-recorded sales message. Well, nothing new. That was an interesting one. Just when we thought we might have got a quiet day, we got invaded. A group of bandits is on the other side of the door. Well, seems there's so many groups of bandits out there. They should just raid each other. I'm pretty sure that's what they do. Pretty sure that's half the fun of being a bandit. It's just being raiding other bandits and getting raided. Uh, Timmy's in terrible shape, water, not so well of water. Yes, it's day 105, so you get water, obviously. Yeah, ooh, we can sim send Timmy out. You know what, we're gonna do that tomorrow. We're gonna send him tomorrow, he has a gas mask now. We should be able to fix him up to a point where he feels better. Definitely gonna give him food and water today. Timmy seems okay. Roars would love to eat something. You know what, you can all have something in terms of food. Not too much food left, though. Does Dolores want food? Yeah, she wants. Good. Yeah, we're gonna send Timmy. Please, Timmy. We need a flashlight. It's all we need is a silly flashlight. Because apparently that's what we need. I am... I'm, I'm, I'm fairly certain that when we get a flashlight, the game is gonna be like, Hey, you need playing cards. Timmy went to, out to the wasteland. We didn't know what we'll do if he doesn't come back. Well, probably go crazy. Because this is always what happens. And, of course... We have raiders at the doorstep. Well, Dolores can deal with them. Never lost to a raider like this. And I'm still surprised that the rifle is working. All right, Dolores wants water. Yeah. <laughs> they want me to use the flashlight again. Well, let's just hope that they don't get Timmy. Uh, she's gonna get water tomorrow. We're gonna deal with the trash can. All right. And fantastic. That was close. A nest of these glowing bugs might have been more than we wanted to deal with. All right, here's some water, Lars. <laughs> Again, more bandits. This is 
the amount of penance that you're gonna... Oh, I got the achievement. I survived more than the whatever record was that they set an achievement. 111 days. I got the achievement Conrad style. That is nice. We were able to defend. We were afraid for Timmy. Timmy did not bring us a flashlight. He brought us a can of soup and playing cards. That is very nice of you, Timmy, but also completely useless. All right, Timmy, you're hungry. Let's give you some food. Uh, I can't send them out. All right. Um, it was a group of tea party ladies. Well, let's shoot them with a rifle and hopefully they drop a flashlight. No, they don't. Well, one can hope, right? Anyway, they ran away. Uh, Timmy is very hungry, but he should drink. Hasn't eaten in a while. Well, here you have some food. If Timmy goes out, he might die. Should we prepare for an expedition? No, the last thing he expected to hear while sitting in a fallout shelter was a trumpet. It was played by someone who was clearly not a trumpet player and who has never heard a trumpet. Yes, this one, the Merry Man. Uh, am I amongst the rich? Yes, I'm absolutely amongst the rich. We're not gonna let him in. Look at all the food and water we have. They would just take it away. And I'm not letting them take away my food. Who am I? Rich make riches and... Anyway, Timmy's very hungry. And she hasn't eaten in a while. Wait, she also wants water. Okay, food for both. We are eventually gonna run out. I mean, that's just what's gonna happen unless we get magically... And again, again. Unless we magically get a med kit. I am still surprised about the ammunition that we have. It's crazy. Why don't we just kill them? We, we apparently are horrible at killing them. Because they always come back. The rest will not survive with the water any longer. Yes, you will. Another day, that is. All right. Oh, Timmy, he was always a wild one. A shelter is not the best environment. He asked if he could go to the surface even for a short while. Yes, send them. Send them. Please bring us a flashlight. Please bring him a flashlight. I know, we just got attacked by raiders. Oh, he's not coming back. Oh, he might be back, though. We figured that if he doesn't encounter any savages, mutated beasts, or killer mimes, he should be fine. Well, let's see. Here's some water for you. Oh, he should... Ah, Timmy should have had, get, gotten some water. He got no water. He's gonna die out there. Ah, well. Was fun while it lasted, son. Signal has to wait. Nothing new. We've a gang of thugs. Of course, we're gonna respond with some bullets to these thugs. <laughs> How am I... So oh, she's going crazy. Lovely. Just what we needed. Her sanity. We were able to defend our home. What if they come back? Ow. Well, Timmy's not gonna come back. Timmy, Timmy's dead. Timmy, Timmy's dead. Yeah. Judging by the sounds of gunfire and screams, it seems like a band of thugs has taken control of the area. You want to come here, Wheatley, and stop complaining? Going out could be very risky. It could be. It probably is. Unless the military military magically comes by, this is not happening. Okay, so uh, she wants food. Let's see how long Dolores can survive before she kind of slips into craziness. Oh, the neighborhood watch. Well, we're gonna get attacked by the neighborhood watch. That's just lovely. A lovely. I never liked them anyway. They were just so stuck up. Ah, well. Anyway, they ran, went running. Ah, water tomorrow. Oh, God. More bandits. You gotta be kidding me. All right. How long can I survive? Let's find out. Well, how long do you think I can survive? 10 days, 20 days, 30 days, or even 50 days? Well, let's find out. The end. Oh, what happened here? What What just happened? <laughs> oh my, that thing is huge, and there goes another. Roaches everywhere. We're doomed. We all feel all dirty. If we only had a few drops of water, we could have avoided what happened. Oh, she could have survived longer. Then again, that's okay. I kind of missed that, what happened. 120 days. I don't think anything would have happened. Missed an army plane, missed an army plane, missed an army plane. Missed so many army planes. That's ridiculous. The game was really mocking me here. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this really long run. 
over one hour. Still no luck with surviving. Still, still no luck. I am, I am inclined. I'm, I'm starting to become inclined to um, try it on the easy difficulty, just to to win once. It's really. It's really brutal. It's really brutal. I survived for 120 days. It still didn't help me at all because the military couldn't come because apparently you need a flashlight to survive. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button. Give it give it a good smack for me. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys are gonna watch the next one. I'm Weasel. I'm out. I hope to see you around. Bye-bye.